Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, this is gonna be basically okay. So we're gonna do Slaymas. So this is day one of Slaymas. I know it's normally the month of December, just like Vlogmas, but I was really focused on Vlogmas, but I want to do Slaylist. So the next like so the 22nd, 20 23rd, 24th, 25th, we're gonna slay for the holidays. So I chose this top. It's kind of like I don't know, I think it's holiday-ish but so we're just gonna do i think i want to do something that matches this um i have this becca x chrissy teigen thing so i wanted to use that so because i think this is so pretty and it matches so yeah let's just get slaying together for this holiday christmas whatever so let's just get right onto the look because i'm looking So, I'm going to do my brows first. So, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Lee Hills Dip Brow in shade Medium Brown. I've been thinking I'm using Dark Brown because I used to use Dark Brown, but I'm using Medium Brown. But so, as you guys can tell, my video style is a bit different. Like, it looks like it's like a... I took Instagram videos and, like, put them together. Um, but... Something's going on with just, like, the connector to my computer for my camera so i keep losing my videos so this is like the best way and this is the easiest way for me to film because i cannot seem to prop my phone up properly without it falling and then messing up so we're gonna have to deal with this i know it may be like ugly but i promise you once i figure out the issue like i already really have but i just can't really like do that today um so um we're gonna have to deal with this for a little bit but not long so i'm gonna prep my eyes using my covergirl true blend concealer and shade buff beige and i'm gonna use the end side of this elf complexion duo brush to blend that out i love this brush i've been enjoying it ever since i did the review on the elf camo cc cream I'm literally obsessed. So, I'm going to take the remaining concealer, put that in between the brows, and then right on top to really carve out whatever we like. How are your holidays going so far? Are you working? Are you in school? Are you just kind of chilling? Are you shopping? Let me know. Because it's been rough over here on this end. But okay, we're blending, we're blending. So good. I'm going to start off with the eyes like I normally do. So I think what I'm going to go into first is my James Charles X Morphe palette. And I want to take the shade, I'm going to take the shade T, which is this brown. And I'm just going to use a nice fluffy brush because this is going to be my crease shade. So this is the Morphe X Shocklin Hill GH30. I'm honestly, I don't know. If you guys watch my videos, you can tell I'm totally obsessed with these brushes. Like, I think that the like these are like some of the best brushes I've used. Like, the collab with Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. So that's going in the crease. I didn't know it was gonna be this deep. What in the world? We'll make it work. We shall make it work. Twenty twenty has gone by has been the slowest but fastest year at the same time and like it doesn't literally make any sense. Like 
scents 2020 they doesn't have it i'm gonna take the shade canvas and i'm gonna kind of go over it oh that's gonna make it ashy but it'll be fine um because i want to like brighten it a bit because for some reason it applied dark at first but yeah this year has gone by super slow and then like i blinked one day and then it was like december 21st like how does that make sense no idea i'm gonna use the same brush and i'm gonna go into the shade benny which is the brown right underneath the shade t and i'm gonna kind of just apply that to like the outer yeah see this is more like brown okay i'm applying that to the outer and the inner portions of the eye this is gonna be such a super easy look like for anyone i promise and it's gonna match my shirt so so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush. It's just a really nice angled brush. And I really love the angle of it, obviously. So I'm going to take my CoverGirl True Blind Concealer in shade Buff Beige. I'm going to take some of the concealer and carve out the eye. Um, I'm trying to think of what shade. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do it like this. Yeah. I don't have to work because I've already done it. Right. These are such good brushes, but why would I do that? All right, so I'm going to take the Becca X Chrissy Teigen. This is the Cinnamon Churro. Glow Souffle, so it's eyeshadow and highlighter duo. Taking the top part, which is like a pressed pigment, which I like a lot. I loved like this color. I used it like once before. I'm gonna put that right in the center. Oh, that matches so pretty. why i don't like how this is looking because i had you here we are this is much better okay you know what don't mind the previous angle yeah i'm gonna kind of do it like that i'm gonna take that same brush and kind of just blend around but for some reason those browns are really coming off as black like really really dark so i'm gonna go into my jackie Anna palette i'm gonna take the shade credit and i'm just gonna add that on top of like where I have the other matte shadows to kind of add some more like you know lighter brown to this because that's more of what I wanted but it's not looking bad I either want to do like a nice brown liner but I don't have a brown liner or like a nice just concealed wing I think I'm gonna try out the concealed wing if I don't like it I'm gonna cover it with like brown shadow to make it like a brown liner we love an innovative queen so I'm gonna take the um, concealer brush and I'm gonna take this elf um, eyebrow duo brush this is the black one. I like to use the clear one for my brows. No reason necessarily. Well, maybe there is a reason, but I just haven't figured it out. So I'm going to take the concealer and just create a nice line. I 
I don't know why I just love how like this looks with a nice like brown eye look. Having nails comes in handy. It gets you a nice little sharp edge. If you mess up, you're like, oh. Yeah. But yeah, I actually like how that's looking. Like, I like that. So we're going to keep it for now. I may change my mind, but okay. So to kind of see how this look is going to look completed, I am going to add some mascara. So I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Mascara. The full frontal mascara. Y'all, we have a full get ready with me today. I'm going to do my hair as if it's something y'all haven't seen before. But guess what? Y'all going to see it again. Alright, so this is pretty much how the eyes are going to look. I am going to like, I kind of wanted to add like a purple liner to my waterline. Um, but I'm going to do that after I finish the face. So we're going to move on to the face. And so I'm going to use my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. Blend upwards so that we don't, you know. Do I do this? Oh, I'm gonna take my Sabella Foundation Primer, just like 10 bumps, and I'm gonna put that everywhere because I love it. All right, the skin is prepped, and now we're ready to get snatched. I really like how this came out though. Like, I'd fix the wing, but then it'd just be more concealer. So I'm going to maybe try and fix it with the foundation, but we'll see. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Love this one. This is in shade medium 330W. I just did a review on this. And I've been using it, like, ever since. So that should tell y'all something. That should tell y'all something. So I'm going to just take the same e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. Put it over my lips, you know, blank canvas. Add it to my neck, add it to the ears. I found that really stippling. This brush like helps get rid of streaks, like, and it's just a pleasant uh, tool to work with, if I'm being quite honest with you. Like it just took away all those streaks that I created from just the swipe, so. It's a win for me. Love this brush and I love that it's like a duo brush. So you can get like really small areas or like if you really want precise concealer application. Love it. There we go. And there we go. And it's just good for even like smaller areas that you want to like fix. It's just overall a good time. I don't feel like I have to go in with a beauty blender afterwards, like, especially when I'm stippling the brush rather than rubbing. Maybe certain areas around my nose, but that's fine for me. So I am going to just go around, like, my nose and kind of, like, smooth it out. Because for some reason, texture just really builds up there for me. Um, I've noticed that. So I'm just going to, like, you know smoothly blend it right under the eye but that's that like perfection so i'm gonna go into the elf camo concealer in shade medium sand love this concealer like elf is doing the damn thing like this concealer is really good the cc cream is really good and the combination of them both on the skin phenomenal like 10 out of 10 totally recommend i'm gonna use the beauty blender to blend it out watch me get ready and then my plans get canceled that's just my luck 
that's just Nikki's look, you know? I love pulling my concealer really upwards towards the temple. It really helps, like, give just, like, a lifted effect. I really, really love it. Oh, this is a look! Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, okay. Don't get too ahead of yourself. I sometimes like to blend, like, the outer portion of, like, the concealer with the brush as well to kind of nicely blend it into the skin. Even though it's already blended, but, like, you know, just for fun. I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in shade Light Medium. And I am going to use this Sonia Kashuk brush. This is really good for, like, the application of powder, especially, like, under the eyes. So I'm going to do it like that. And it, like, helps it melt into the skin. Um... If you don't want to bake, like, this brush really just helps it melt into the skin. Kind of just pats it in, and then it's like, boom. I'm in your skin, and I'm like, oh, okay. So the rest of the powder that's in here, I'm going to take my big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to go to town to set the rest of my face. So that we can bronze. She knows that I knows that that she knows. So I'm gonna use this ColourPop bronzer today. This is in bits and pieces. It's a little red for me, not gonna lie. Don't know why or how. Oh my god, hold on, the light. Y'all just fell, but y'all didn't see it because I took it out. But girl. But yeah, I'm gonna use this. You guys can't even see. I don't know. I'm trying, like, I, I use it to try and figure out if I like it, but like, I feel like it also plays like a blush for me as well. Obviously, it's like a deep shade to be like a, a blush alone, but with the certain undertones in this one, like, I don't know, it's a little too red for me, but I still use it because when I have it and I've already used it, and my mother would just like, you know. But I'm I'm trying to work with it to see what I can do. So that's why I'm gonna use it today. To see if I can make it look good. I just lightly bronze the nose. I don't go crazy with like nose contour. Sometimes when I feel like the bronzer gets too close to my mouth, I like to take the um leftover powder and just kind of, you know get rid of that and now it looks perfect i'm gonna take the same big blending brush and blend it in with the edges and just everything being out girl i don't even feel like i need to put highlighter on but i'm going to just for the effect so i'm going to take my wet and wild highlighting powder this is in shade golden flower crown i love this color i'm going to take the morphe x jacqueline hill jh09 like i'm telling you i love these brushes Okay, ew. My hair is gonna be done. Don't worry. Like I said, I'm gonna go into that purple liner. This is from ColourPop. It's in shade No Shame. I'm gonna add that to my waterline. You could totally keep it without, but I just love that, like, more, like, sultry dark like <laughs> effect that it gives don't ask so i'm gonna add my fenty beauty fenty beauty full frontal mascara to the bottom lashes as well this is a really good bottom lash um mascara not only for the size because this is the mini but also the wand and the mascara itself is really really good i'm gonna spray my face with some cucumber water for some hydration and just to set everything time to move on to lips um, <laughs> you see me picking up concealer, like, yes, it's my trick. So I'm going to take my Say Bella lip liner in shade Plum Crazy. I love this one. It's been like a favorite of mine these past like a week or so. And the outline. It's so crazy because I never liked lip liner. Like, I was like, what the heck is the point? 
interesting. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm gonna fill in a little bit like on the corners. And then I'm gonna take the CoverGirl Concealer in Shade Buff Beige. I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm just gonna... I know it's weird, but it makes the perfect ombre. Like, it blends in so nicely. Um, it makes the perfect like ombre nude for me. I'm like, okay, well, I guess we'll go with it. See, and y'all were. Y'all were judging me. All right, so I'm gonna spray my face one more time in my cucumber water. More like 10 more times, Jesus. We're gonna move on to this hair. Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Nah. I just washed it. You see how she's grown? I don't know if y'all could tell, but she's really grown and I'm so proud and happy for her. But we're putting her back today because I don't have time to deal with her. I, it's crazy how much I've been wearing my hair back. Like, whatever. This is such a mess over here. Jesus. All right. So I'm going to part it down the middle. Boom. Scratching your scalp with nails is like top 10 and it's not 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 or 2 You guys fell again, but like I said, you won't see it. This is probably gonna be the dumbest thing that I've done, but because my Eco Styler is my tripod, I'm gonna use some got to be for my edges. So that is it for this look. Oh wait, my hoops, hold on. Cause let me give y'all like, hoops are on, we are looking fly. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I did add a gloss, I added the Elevated Rain lip gloss. I love it, non-sticky. And it just looks so good with like my favorite nude. That's why I love using the glosses. So use code Nikki20 for money off. The link will be down below in the description if you guys want to check them out. Black owned and amazing. And they also have really cute jewelry. So check them out down below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below. And subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Take it to you, girl, you got me